Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Kate Sino. I'm a fourth year biomedical engineering student here at the University of Akron. I love being a biomedical engineer because after I graduate, I get to help people by making arms and legs, which is pretty cool. So today I'm gonna show you some of my labs and workspaces, so follow me. This is the main engineering building called Auburn Science and Engineering Center. So there are lots of little study areas throughout the building, which is pretty cool. These are pretty popular. I would tell you my favorite, but I think I'm gonna keep that my little secret. So this is the engineering co-op and placement office. So if you choose to do the co-op program, which I highly recommend, um, they will work alongside you to get you placed in a company where you can do your co-ops. Uh, also, twice a year, they host career fairs specifically for engineering students, which is super nice, where companies come and seek students out just as much as the students seek the companies out. And you get the chance to talk to them, pass along your resume, have some really good conversations. So this is an area that is open only to biomedical engineering students. It's an amazing study space. I've come here to work on group projects. There's also computers that have all the programs you need for any of your projects. And there's a fridge. You can risk throwing your lunch in there, but uh, I might not. This is where you build things. This is the biomedical engineering workshop. Gotta have proper PPE. All the materials you will need for any class you'll take are in this room. We have access to a whole bunch of drill presses, screwdrivers, wood glue, anything you could imagine. And it's completely free for students. We're also really big on safety, so we make sure everyone has proper personal protection equipment on, and we make sure people are certified and know working alone. This is the Gate Lab, which is run by one of the professors in the BME department. This is where students learn how to design new ways of helping people with mobility issues through prosthetics. I have a friend who works here, and she has had an incredible experience. Something else you'll learn about are tensile and compressive tests, which you can test using this loading device, and you'll learn all about that in your class. Steve, what are these cool machines you're working on? Compression testing right now, and we have grips that we can attach to here and here. We do tensile tests or compression tests. Equipment and tools and materials that they can use for their helping hand project and also their prosthetic arm project, which most of the parts are PVC. So in this class, you'll do some pretty cool projects, one of which is a helping hand where you have to 3D print a part that will hold a lens and have two little little clips on the bottom and then you'll also have to make a medical delivery vehicle using these connect pieces and you'll have to take apart some machine it could be a coffee pot or a blender I had to take apart a drill um, down to the nuts and bolts and ball bearings and then have to put it back together without missing anything you'll also get to make a prosthetic arm which is pretty cool I give the students a four inch PVC tube that's ten inches long and a dowel rod that goes to the center so the students put their hands in and then they can make different implements that clip. These, this one was 3D printed. Using SolidWorks, you can make 3D images and then actually print them in Bierce Library or in some of the departments here in the engineering building, which is pretty cool. My freshman year, I actually designed a mug in one of my classes and then I 3D printed it. And now I have a nice cup holder on my desk. This lab is one of the biomedical engineering labs and it's actually one of my favorites. Um, you'll take your tools class in here your freshman year. You'll learn all about how to work in a lab. You'll learn micro pipetting and work with cells. It's a very interesting class. And this is actually where I felt like an engineer for the first time or felt like a scientist for the first time even. So these are some of the micro pipettes you'll learn how to use. It's pretty cool, kind of intricate. We've got some bio hoods in here, which you use to help keep a sterile environment when working with cells. There's also some fume hoods, as you can see in the back. Uh, which help to protect you when working with dangerous chemicals and there's a whole bunch of lab benches which you'll learn about during your first year. Also because the biomedical engineering department is super fun, all of our door stoppers are chalk outlines. You'll get a cute little disposable lab coat to work on. My group and I, my freshman year, we wrote our last names on it and then we took a cute picture with all of our backs like, yeah, we're scientists. So I thought that was pretty fun. So this is where the biomedical engineering design team is located. So the biomedical engineering design team works with members of the community to help improve their lives. Um, for instance, they'll work with people with physical disabilities to adapt machines or items to make it easier for life. They made a bike for a boy who has trouble balancing and walking and using his legs properly, but they adapted it in a way that made it possible for him to do it. So these are some of the cool projects that our design teams do. Our Baja team designs and builds this car for off-roading. Our concrete canoe team builds a concrete canoe and then races it. We have an aero team which builds a plane. We have our Formula One team that designs a super cool race car. This is Kyle. He is a fifth year mechanical engineering student and you're on the 
aero design team. You might notice a lot of them are cars or planes or maybe things that aren't specific to biomedical engineering students, but the sweet thing is that it doesn't matter what your major is, you can still join the teams. This concludes our tour of the biomedical engineering department. Let's head out. Thanks, Steve. Thank you. See you later, Kate.